Dear Sally, life is hard. It is tough at so many places that it becomes so cruel sometimes without any proper explanations. But sailing through all those hardships and rising like a phoenix from the past experiences of our life is something which makes us invincible. Writing about one's own experiences and accepting the situations of sad and violent turns of life is never easy. But my dear Silly, I'm so proud of you for not giving up on yourself, for not giving up on this life and for not giving up the hope to meet your sister, Nettie. I'm glad you stood strong in front of coward men and those who looked down upon you. I'm glad you kept that sweetheart safe for Shag Avery in order to tell her that she's the most beautiful woman you ever saw. You have a big heart for forgiving people in the end who abused and humiliated you. You are brave for believing in the goodness of meeting those again who are loved truly. You are a true sister for always remembering Nettie and managing to finally meet her in an age which will always envisage the classicness of your story and many other stories of women like you. Your story, your letters to God, your sufferings, your miseries, your sickness, your heartbreak, your strength to keep living were witnessed by me in the month of September when I started reading The Color Purple. It was after reading your last letter to God, the stars, the sky, the people, to everything when I decided of writing this letter to you. I am writing this to let you know that you are an inspiration to all those women who face extreme harsh cruelties of people and come out stronger while celebrating all that it means to be one honest female. You said once that there's so much we don't understand and so much unhappiness comes because of that. Honestly, for me, reading your letters was like personally listening to a friend who suffers so much alone and the best you can do in order to help them is by becoming a good listener for coming to 61 pages. Your story and your words will forever remain with me. I wish you could make some pants for me whenever I don't find any good pants at a shopping store. And I'm glad you found your interest and a source to keep you busy and independent. Dear Silly, thank you for emancipating everyone who came across you. Thank you for illuminating yourself while everything kept falling apart for you. Thank you for writing the letters of your understanding of the political, historical, personal, emotional and the spiritual phases of life. Thank you for letting this universe know very directly that violence, humiliation, racism, discrimination existed at such derogatory levels and still exist at so many places in this universe. Thank you for fiercely fighting all that came in your ways and managing to smile beautifully in your last letter. I will always remember you as a character who transcends age, gender, prejudices, discrimination and even after facing all the adversities of life, keeps on living beautifully.